Hey guys, today I will be showing you the HP Chromebox G2. This is a fully functional Chrome device that actually runs the Play Store and all the Android apps you can get. I specifically looked. Inside is everything inside. You can see. I'm going to bring out the actual box firstly. That is actually coming up. Over here, I'm going to take off the protection and you can see that's it this is the box it has two usb ports at the front micro sd power like turn on and off it's got like a usb a jack it's got usb c it's got power hdmi which you will need to use it three extra usb ports and an ethernet you do not need the ethernet because if it's a unless it, you're using a wired router this comes with wi-fi support so inside also is our bits of connection when i first brought this out i saw that i was like confused until i saw the extra bits the second bits with the box I don't usually like adapters, it's a computer, but sometimes you just got to compromise. I'm going to connect it like this, I'm going to push it in, and I'm just going to plug it together right now. I have connected it to power, and I'm going to get the other end of it. This is the plug. I'm going to plug it in to our nice port over here. I'm going to place it down because it has grips in the bottom going to plug it in here then you see the HDMI port right here we will need HDMI this is a relatively new thing and literally all the Chromes now they use HDMI with the exception of a majority of the Chrome but the Chromebooks that don't then we have our HDMI, this is our HDMI display, some other stuff, and we're going to plug it in. Just for the record, I'm going to, along with it, plug in my wireless mouse. You can see it's the light up now. It says, connect a keyboard or mouse. If you are using Bluetooth devices, make sure your devices are ready to pair. So, that. It's just like started up now. I have my wireless mouse and my wired keyboard. Oh, I get a wireless keyboard. Takes lots of batteries. And I'm just going to plug in my wireless mouse. It says both of them are connected. Even though only one is weird. Now I'm just going to get my, my wired keyboard which is a Dell USB keyboard. There is no point getting one of those specialised ones. And I'm going to plug it in right now. There you go. Both of them are plugged in. Now I'm going to show you what's actually up here. Okay, so I did the whole setup thing. Told me to connect to mouse and keyboard. I did exactly that. It told me to connect to Wi-Fi, accept the Google Play terms and conditions, do the syncing, because if you had a different device, which I do, which is a Chromebook, then it will obviously be in sync because they're both Google devices. And they'll be in sync through stuff like Google Drive, Google Photos, and all that. There's also files, but files is a separate thing, and that's for your actual device, which you would find in a Windows 10 computer as your library. So yeah, cool things you can do. Firstly, you can go to Explore, Explores when you unlock the amazing capabilities of your Chromebook. You can learn how to lock and unlock your screen, which I'm not going to do because it's going to stop. Anyway, anyway, so you can manage your apps, you can use the Google Duo, you can take and manage photos, you can reinstall default apps on your Chromebook. Bit weird. I don't use a Chromebook. This is a Chromebook. But yeah, they'll do that. Now, for a quick example, we're going to open the web store. 
we're going to open the Play Store. They're two different things, so don't be fooled. You get Play Store on your Android phone or your Android tablet, but you don't get Web Store. Web Store, you can get extensions for Google Chrome, and you can also get apps for Chromebooks, Chromeboxes, Chromebases. Wait, Google Classroom in the Play Store. It takes one minute and 11 seconds to do it for me. Google Classroom over here. Because I don't want to waste time, I just told you how long it took. But for this one, I'll just do it. Add to Chrome and you click Add App and bingo, it's done. How quick. It will open it. I did do a timer for this thing about the Google Play thing. And it did take quite a long time. And they both need Wi-Fi. So if you want apps that use Wi-Fi but save space, you're looking for Web Store. And you can also find offline apps there. And you can find them in both. If you want apps that have the proper Android functionality, then you're looking for Play Store, which is cool. Also, there are a bunch of different apps you can use. You may need your phone for some stuff, like, for example, Phone Hub. You need to do a few things. You need Bluetooth on, and you might need Bluetooth on for other reasons. Then there's, you can get apps from the Play Store, like Teams or Seneca. You can get apps that are for entertainment you can create folders also and name them which I'm going to do right there I don't care if I spell things wrong fun you can create apps from one of the folders I made Google there's lots of stuff in here you can use Chrome remote desktop it's actually really good if you wanted to access your computer you can use anybody it's really cool and you could use a bunch of different apps I wouldn't recommend getting the YouTube app from the Google Play because it's just a waste of time so simply yeah so there's loads of apps you can use and I really recommend anyway so this is the end of this video hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next video bye bye